Hey, it's Eric Olson when I bring you entertainment news and pop culture. If you like that kind of thing, um, consider subscribing. Do you remember George Zimmerman? It's this guy right here. Um, let's do a quick Google search images. Do you recognize him? George Zimmerman is the Florida neighborhood watchman who shot and killed a 17 year old named um, Trayvon Martin back in 2012. What's happening with him right now, you won't believe it, but George Zimmerman sues the Trayvon Martin's family and the prosecutors for $100 million. And it's, I don't know. I mean, well, let me know what you think about this. Um, leave some comments, you, you know, below. Uh, I mean, for $100 million, he shoots a 17-year-old man and then now sues the victim's family. I think this is so, I don't know, wrong. Um, so I wanted to kind of dig in and figure out who is George Zimmerman? What is he all about? Uh, I'll leave a link in the description below about this headline about George Zimmerman. And, you know, on NPR is covering it as well. It's all over the place on the internet. But what I really wanted to do is really dig in to who is George Zimmerman? What is his life like before all this happened and see if we can kind of figure out his mindset maybe or even just anything else that we might figure out about who this George Zimmerman is. What's interesting is one thing that I found out was that George Zimmerman has also been in trouble with other issues with the law even afterwards. So I don't know, maybe there is a pattern here. But if you like this kind of news, you know, subscribe. I cover entertainment news, pop culture. Let me know what you think about this as well. Okay, a little bit more information about George Zimmerman. His full name is George Michael Zimmerman. He was born on October 5th of 83. He's an American known for the fatal shooting of Trayvon Martin in Sanford, Florida on February 26, 2012. On July 13th of 2013, he was acquitted of all the charges in the Florida versus George Zimmerman case. As of 2015, he remained the subject of immediate interest due to the ongoing controversy over the Martin case. In addition, he has been involved in other violent incidents uh, with allegations of violence made against him. However, he was never um, convicted. Zimmerman was later the target of a shooting, which resulted in a um, conviction for attempted murder against him. Um, like I was saying, he was born in 83. He was born actually in um, Virginia. He's the third of four children. And his siblings include brother Robert Jr., two sisters, Grace and Don. His mother was born in Peru and has some um, African ancestry. And his father is an American of German descent and has a career as a military officer. And his father served 22 years in the military, you know, working for the Department of Defense for the last 10 years as a military career. Um, find it interesting that he came from a military background and all this trouble kind of follows him. Um, Zimmerman does identify himself as a Hispanic on voter registration forms. He was raised as a Catholic and served as an altar boy from age seven to 17. The family was known for being um, devoted um, religious um, people. Like I said, still very interested, um, you know, raised Catholic, military father, uh, went to private school. All these kind of things um, kind of interest me about him and the way that he kind of turned out. He eventually moved or the family eventually moved to Florida after graduating from high school. Zimmerman moved to Lake Mary, Florida, and it's just a suburb outside of Orlando, 
where he was employed by an insurance agency. Zimmerman took classes at night to obtain a license to sell insurance. It was during this time when he became friends with Lee Ann Benjamin, a real estate agent, and her husband, um, John. He was a Sanford um, attorney. Both of them later testified on his behalf of his character and, you know, during that trial. He eventually moves um, to a retreat at Twin Lakes where he meets his wife, um, a licensed um, cosmetologist in 2007. Two years later, they rented a townhouse in the retreat of the Twin Lakes in Sanford, Florida. Zimmerman had previously been employed at a car dealership and a mortgage audit firm. Zimmerman enrolled in, um, in an estate college in 2009 and it was working as an, as, um, he was working on an associate degree in criminal justice. In 2011, he was allocated to participate in a school graduation ceremony, even though he was, of course, credit shy. He completed the credit at the timing of the shooting. Zimmerman was then employed as an insurance underwriter. Now, jumping into the actual shooting, the Trayvon Martin shooting and the trial. Now, on February 26, 2012, Zimmerman fatally shot a 17-year-old African-American high school student in the retreat at Twin Lakes Community in um, Sanford, Florida. Zimmerman was the neighborhood watch coordinator in his gated community. And Martin was temporarily staying there that's the boy that was shot. Uh, Martin was temporarily staying there and was shot there. The Twin Cities a Neighborhood Watch Program was not um, registered with the National Neighborhood Watch Program, but it was administrated by the local police department. Following an earlier call from Zimmerman, police ar arrived within two minutes of the gunshot during an altercation which Zimmerman fatally shot Martin who did not possess any weapons. Zimmerman was subsequently taken into custody, treated for head injuries, then was questioned for five hours. Um, the police chief said that Zimmerman was leased because there was no evidence to refute Zimmerman's claim of having acted in self-defense and that under the Florida's Stand Your Ground statue, and what Stand Your Ground statue basically means is you know, it was a law established a right by a person may defend oneself or others against threats. So basically, you know, he was let go because um, no charges, I should say, because, you know, he was defending himself. Um, the news picked up on this. Thousands of um, protests across the United States kicked in. Of course, you know, later on, as we know, Zimmerman was charged with murder um, by a special prosecutor was appointed um, by the governor, um, Rick Scott. Um, the trial kicked off in 2013, as we know. And then later on, as we know, that he was um, basically found non-guilty. So that's kind of a little history of, you know, him. Um, other encounters with law enforcement, even after all this happened, he was still getting in trouble with the law. Other encounters with law enforcement, Zimmerman has had other encounters with the law, including two innocent incidents in 2005, five incidents in 2013. Five, can you believe that? Five of them in 2013, other incidents in the following years. Um, this guy just sounds like trouble follows him everywhere. Sometimes I think to myself, you're not 100% guilty always of what you have been um, accused of, but you might be guilty of something else. Or, you know, justice will find its way. This kind of reminds me of the whole O.J. Simpson case. Uh, you know, I found not guilty. Then later on, you know, how karma and the world goes around, eventually catches up to you. And then he was charged for something else. Um, I can't believe that he had five inc incidents in 2013. Anyhow, if you want to learn more about George Zimmerman, uh, I guess you could just, you know, let me know. I can dig into this for you a little bit more. Um, if you like this story, you know, hit the like button, subscribe. If you like entertainment news or even pop culture, you know, what's happening in the world. If you like, if you like pop culture, you know, consider subscribing.